Hey guys, I just thought I would show you a quick flip through of the journal that I did for my daughter. She wanted like a Paris themed journal, but then she has some other interests too. So I tried to incorporate a couple of different things for her. Um, she likes Harry Potter, so I put some wizarding stuff in there. I gave her some extra things to play with. Some extra stickers and stuff there. I printed her some off some inspirational images. Um, I think from Pinterest, since it's just for my daughter, I wasn't too worried about where I got my images from. Um, and I also incorporated some pictures from the sewing, um, the vintage sewing planner that they have out, I think at Hobby Lobby and a couple of other places. Um, did some pockets. She really likes fashion, so I tried to incorporate some of the fashion stuff in there. Um, so I thought she'd like some of that vintage fashion stuff from the Vintage Sewing Planner, I think it's called. I just picked one of those up for like $10 on clearance from Hobby Lobby, I think is where I got that from. Um, and then I just um, covered up the months with some different things. And I did a bunch of different... I did a bunch of different stuff in this, like just kind of playing around with things that I just recently learned. I did some pockets. Tried to give her some space to write and to decorate. Um, tried to use some little charms that I found for her. If you guys can see that or not. This is kind of funny. I got some eco dyed paper from Etsy. I really don't have time to do kind of that some of that stuff myself, so it's fun to support those small businesses on Etsy that are willing to do the eco dyeing and the coffee dyeing and stuff that I just don't have time to do for. Um, and then I just tried to put different sayings on the months instead of using it as a planner. She can write in it and decorate it up. This is one of those Tim Holtz um, stamp. Cutouts, I don't know, forget what the word is, but so that she can put some pictures in there. I really like using the spiral binders right now. Hopefully, um, at some point, I'll get to where I'm using old book binders, but right now, the spiral binders just work better for me. Easier to get pages in and out. And it's super fun making this for her. Got lots of different paper from different places. Used quite a bit of that um, vintage sewing planner. Used some other um, paper that I picked up from different places. Some of it's some of it's old pieces from just different calendars and whatnot. This is my attempt at one of those three pocket holders. It's kind of fun. And I like this. Tucks in and out. It's kind of fun. Yeah, so just a quick flip through of the journal I did for her. My second one, attaching it with some keys and some pre-lace. Thanks, guys.